to uh, navigate the console's inputs, we use the VCA groups to populate this area of the console. Um, identifying the channels is achieved using names and colours instead of numbers and layers. So it's a very intuitive way of navigating a mixing console, which is effectively the electronic equivalent of using coloured tape and marker pens. So it's a way of thinking which you're already very familiar with. The 12 inputs on the left-hand side of the console can be changed depending upon which VCA group is selected. So if I need to address the saxophone channel 2, instead of trying to remember firstly which input channel a saxophone is and secondly which layer of faders that is on, I merely select the brass VCA which brings all of the members of the uh, brass section up onto the control surface. I then select the channel I'm particularly interested in and now straight away I'm into operating whatever element of the channel I need to. Uh, VCA groups are very easily programmed. To program a VCA group you merely hold the VCA button in, select which input channels you desire to be a member of that group and then it's very easy to navigate to those channels by selecting the VCAs. So um, here's one I've prepared earlier. We have the drum kit, tom toms, bass guitar, keyboard channels, vocal channels and the effects returns. So it's very quick and easy to navigate the input channels using this method. Um, I don't have to think in terms of channel numbers or layers of faders uh, and it's very very quick to address the channels I need to. Above the VCA select buttons, we have the population group select buttons. Now, the population groups have no audio function. Now, purely to enable you to create a group of related instruments which you need on the control surface for some function. Both the population groups and the VCAs are scene specific, so the function of these controls can change with each scene within the show. Um, I could label the population groups for certain functions, so this group is labelled intro, so it contains all of the channels I need to deal with du during the intro of this song. Uh, this is um, all the channels I typically need to deal with during the verse of this song, and these channels obviously can be sourced from different VCAs, from different areas of the console, but for some purpose I need those channels to appear together on the console for some comparative balancing. Uh, creating population groups is as simple as assigning to VCAs. We use the same method where the population group is selected by holding down the button and then any channels which are required to be a member of that group are then chosen by pushing the select button. So we can now create our own scene-specific groups of related instruments, which allows us to create our own, um, our own mix groups uh, if we need to cross-fade between two channels. Wherever the channels are located on the mixer, we can have them appearing right next to each other on the control surface that makes things like comparative balancing and cross-fading very simple and straightforward.